Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and uh, I'm uh, making a, a mini album with a beautiful Mon Amour paper collection from Graphic 45 and uh, for that album I made some uh, paper tiles so I thought I would share how I uh, made them so uh, these are some uh, I filmed so this I will show you how to make in the video and some are with uh, embossing powder and some are with um, uh, glossy accent and I also made some more and this is so much fun so I made a lot of them so I'm not sure you maybe can see it's uh, dimensional here so uh, this I made before and this I filmed so it's a build up with a uh, dimension so I'm not sure it shows up in the camera and I also made one with uh, gears inside uh, just for some fun so yeah so it's a lot uh, you can do with this and you can also add some pearls or uh, anything you like so and I also use some glitter in them so here I'm using uh, scraps and leftovers and also I'm using uh, this uh, backside of the um, journaling and ephemera cards they are really great for making tiles so it's uh, this packaging here and also using some scraps and leftovers and cut out from them here I used uh, this was for this one I think so and uh, I will also use uh, for this one I used a fragment from Tim Holtz but if you don't have this you can also use some uh, packaging acetate so that was uh, this one and then I am uh, using some uh, distress glitter and uh, embossing uh, powder and these are both uh, from uh, Ranger and Tim Holtz and uh, I'm using some um, glossy accent also so some of them are with a glossy accent and some are with um, uh, embossing powder and uh, see this one was with a glossy accent and this you can build up many times I just show one layer in the video but you can build it up the same way with um, dimension like this one but then you have to let it dry for uh, uh, 24 hours or so uh, if you don't like it to become a bit white it can show white up if you do it too soon so this can be uh, used as a charm so I also have a little butterfly on the back side so most of them are built up on a shipboard but you can also make them flat if you want to have it in a scrapbook uh, page so and then you can use some uh, gears and uh, pearls and uh, glitter and uh, if you have some uh, micro beads you can uh, use that inside so uh, use what you have and uh, what you like to use and uh, if you are a child and uh, watching this video this can be very hot with uh, embossing powder so please uh, ask an adult to help you because you can <laughs> burn your fingers so yeah and uh, then I will start the tutorial and I hope it will be helpful I will start with this uh, backside of uh, the ephemera cards uh, packaging so we're going to cut that apart with small tiny pieces here so now I'll cut some of them apart and I also like to uh, uh, take the edges with a black uh, waterproof marker around so this I will leave as it is, uh, no um, chipboard backing on it, it's uh, great to use in a, a scrapbook uh, page or uh, on a card or anything so I will take my glossy accent and then I like to go around all the edges uh, first think maybe I will have it on a little uh, craft mat here so it's more easy to move it so I hope it shows up here <laughs> so. and then I fill it in and uh, if you get some uh, bubbles you can use uh, needle and just poke a hole 
so it's not so easy if the bubbles are small, but uh, try to work them out. So, so then I will leave this to dry for a couple of hours. So then we can start uh, working on the next uh, one in the middle time. So then we can start using this image here, and this I will have uh, backed on some uh, shipboard. So just take some glossy accent on the back here. So and just place it on. So this uh, shipboard is about a millimeter thick. You can use the cereal boxes or yeah. So then we are going to cut this off. This one I uh, want to use as a charm, so I will also have an uh, image on the back side. Maybe this one here. Yeah. Or maybe this journaling spot here. Maybe take that one. So I will glue that down also with glossy accent. I think maybe I need to zoom out a bit here so I'm sure I stay in frame. So. Uh, best to leave this uh, to dry uh, for a bit. So now I think it's uh, dried enough and we will uh, poke a hole in it and I think I will take a mark here first on top here about. So, and I'm using my crocodile and uh, it's about one eighth of an inch I think <laughs> wide. So I'll line this up here. See if I can stay in frame here. Punch. So now it's uh, ready to be taking some glossy accent on. And I also like to have uh, my marker uh, so the white doesn't show up here. So we'll put some glitter on here. So I'll just take some tiny bit of glitter over her dress. So I'm not sure if this shows up. And a bit in the mid mirror here. So, so then we can leave this to dry. So now this is uh, dried for a couple of hours, uh, so I want to stuck in a tiny little butterfly here, cut out from the 8x8 paper line. So just bend it a bit and uh, place it here about. And now I would like to, uh, now we can take the glossy accent over, but I like to have um, some glitter on the butterfly also. So then I need the background to dry a bit and uh, then I will uh, take the glossy accent on uh, the butterfly and some uh, glitter. So now it's uh, dry, then we can take some um, glossy accent on uh, the butterfly here. And sparkle some glitter over. Not sure you can see the shine here. <laughs> so then we can take uh, the other one and uh, there I want a butterfly on the back side. So we'll turn it around and uh, glue this on. I think maybe we can take a um, Glitter on first here. And then I want this to go over this tiny butterfly here. So shape it a bit.
glue it on. See if I can find something to pull it down with. So, ship it up a bit. So, and we can make some uh, tiles with these uh, fragments from uh, Tim Holtz. So here I just will use some uh, glossy accents on the back side here. So, and uh, here you also can take some glitter on the back side. Maybe we can do that to see how it works. So take a bit of glitter on here. And then I just will uh, move uh, this around a bit. So I'm sure I get the glue all over and press down. So then we can leave this to dry and then we will cut around. So I just will cut it off now. And I also like to use uh, this image here. So here I'm having a one inch uh, perch. So it's not big enough so I will just slide it down here a bit I think. So, And if you don't have uh, these uh, uh, fragments here you can also use some um, uh, packaging uh, acetate and plastic. So, I think I'll take the glossy accent right on here. There was a frame here. So, and maybe I think I will back it on some uh, black paper. Just to get the frame around it and also line it, outline it a bit. So then we can go down with a glossy accent. And then we can take uh, the glossy accent straight on here. Let's see here. <laughs> So now you can just uh, take uh, just a glossy accent or you can uh, take the plastic acetate. So, and press down. So then we leave this uh, to dry for a bit. So now they have dried for some minutes, so uh, it's not completely dry, but I think it's good enough. So then we just cut around them. I'm not sure you can see the sparkling inside here. So, and also this. So, and this one you also can glue on some uh, shipboard if you like to build it up a bit. Then I want some tiny butterflies on, and uh, I will have some uh, glossy accent and uh, glitter on them. So I will take the glossy accent on first here. So just a tiny bit here. This one. And take some glitter on. And this I cut out from the 8 by 8 paper. So this I think I will just have a flat on so I take a tiny bit of glossy accent on here. So, and uh, this other butterfly I want to stand up a bit so I will just form it a bit. So and also take some glossy accent on the back so it's stays uh, in shape. Put that in. Shape it up a bit. So 
so then we can let uh, these dry and then we can make some with uh, some embossing uh, powder so I will use this uh, tiny little one here and just use some regular uh, scotch quick dry glue here smear it out and glue it on some shipboard And I will cut around it. So then I will dip it in this clear uh, embossing stamp pad. So and just dip it inside here. So. And then I will heat it up. And <laughs> this is a bit loud, so I will speed it up and maybe uh, take the sound down. And um, then I will dip it uh, several times. And I also like to heat uh, this up uh, uh, a minute or so, so it's uh, heat before we start uh, embossing it. So now I've taken uh, four uh, layers on and uh, now this is uh, really heat uh, or <laughs> warm so please be careful here. So I will just uh, lift uh, this to the side. You can also take the embossing powder straight on if you like to and uh, I will show that on uh, another one. So we can maybe do that now. So here I have a fussy cut out. And um, I think I will have this a bit dimensional, so we will start with a background paper and just see how large we want it to be. Here about. So, and uh, then I will back this on uh, this paper here. And so uh, the scotch quick dry glue here again. So now I've uh, cut around it and also backed it on some, uh, um, this was a white, uh, I can show you here, shipboard, <laughs> like so. So then we can start uh, the same uh, process with the embossing. So dip this in. So I will use a tray here and make sure to take the embossing powder, not the glitter. So So now I've taken some uh, layers and also took some sparkling over here while I worked to get it, uh, it was a bit bumpy on the sides. So then we will take uh, this uh, fussy cut out and I will just uh, dip it in the embossing powder and then I will place it over here. So, so about. And please be careful here because uh, this is really hot now. So, and then I will dip it one more time or maybe take it over. So, and then I will heat it up uh, or take some more uh, layers on here. And 
I also want one more herb butterfly sitting in here. So build it up uh, so that dimensional seam. So places. I think I will take the tweezers here so I'm not burning myself. So I can get it to stand up a bit. And I think also I will have some glitter here. The butterflies here. And one more layer with um, embossing powder. So this you can build up as uh, much as you like to. So now this is uh, finished and <laughs> now it's really hot so we will leave it uh, a bit to dry. It was a bit on the outside so that we just can cut off after when it's uh, not so hot. So then we maybe can make one last one. So on this one I will um, use uh, the back side here with uh, some uh, gears or clock parts. I also have some uh, background leftover paper that I inked with uh, um, some brown distress ink and uh, black soot and also went over with a gold pan pastel. So then we can glue this on here and uh, do the same uh, process as the other one. So then I will cut around it and then I will also back it with uh, some uh, black uh, paper around, some black cardstock and also some black chipboard. So now I backed it on uh, black cardstock and a black uh, chipboard so then we will do the same process. I will uh, ink uh, this up and uh, I think I will take three layers of embossing uh, powder on. So then we can start layering on some uh, gear parts. So maybe take the large, largest pieces uh, first. So. so I think I need to heat it up a bit again so it will fast. <laughs> So I think that's enough, so then we heat it up again. Now I think it's enough and this you also can build up in uh, in a several uh, layers on top and build up with uh, gears and uh, whatever you like to. So then we will leave this uh, to dry for a bit or to cool uh, down. So now it's uh, cold enough to cut around it with some bits and pieces on the outside. So just cut that off.
and uh, I, want, I want this as a hanging um, sort of a tile so I think we will try to uh, put in a screw on top if we can manage that. So we'll try to poke a hole here, see if it works. And if we miss up we can always go up, back and heat it up again. So and I have a, this is a sort of a little fastener from uh, Tim Holtz. So we'll take some glossy accent on here. So I think that work fine. And then I can also take some decor paper uh, on the back side if I like to. So I hope uh, this uh, tutorial was uh, helpful and that you will give it a try. It's really fun to do and it's a lot of uh, fun uh, things to play with. And also if you are looking for more art uh, tile uh, uh, tutorials. Linda at Live Art Now. She has a wonderful uh, tutorial on. She does some stamping and layering, and so. So I will link to her tutorial below. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please look below the video in the description box. There you will find the link to my blog where I answer all new questions. So take care, everyone, and have fun creating. Bye bye.